Hey Libra, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. This is your general tarot reading for this week of April going into May 2022. Take it resonate, leave the rest, but this is for Libra. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. You also could be dealing with a Libra. All right, I'm going to get some messages from the tarot and I also have some oracle cards I'm gonna pull today from the sacred signs and symbols. This is one of my decks on my Etsy shop. I do have a spring sale going on. So if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading, tarot, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets, now is the time. All right, so Libra, we're going to see what's going on in your love life. Whoever you're thinking about dealing with, we're going to clarify and get you as many messages as we possibly can. All right, so Libra, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe if you appreciate these readings, if it resonates. Thank you all for your love and support. All right, Libra. First off, we have the gavel. The gavel talks about decisions, big decisions, okay? Judgment day. There could be a big decision that has to be made between you and your person. This is your energy, right? This is your energy. So there could be literally, um, I'm getting fairness, balancing of the scales, right? So um, for some of you guys, you could be feeling like someone hasn't been treating you fairly. And now you're having to now make a decision about that. Maybe you're not happy about a situation that has been one-sided maybe you've been getting less than and so some of you you have this right you have you have the right to now make a decision and you may be exercising good judgment with that gavel okay we also have the crystal pendant this talks about spiritual answers intuition divine guidance some of you guys you may be spending time going within connecting with yourself your higher self with source getting some kind of hidden knowledge answers clarity on a situation there could be healing taking place with this crystal pendant um but i really think for the majority of you guys this is something here about allow the universe to support you okay um Strengthen your intuition. Use your intuition. It could be providing you with guidance that you need regarding the situation. And then we also have the skull. The skull is Scorpio energy. Some of you guys are dealing with a Scorpio. Um, death, cycle, ending, closing. So there could be an ending of a situation, ending of a connection, ending of a cycle that has been exhausting, a cycle that has been unfair, challenging in some way. So let's jump right in. We're going to look at the challenges, the past, the current energy, and the future. Past, present, and future, right? So let's look at the energy for Libra. Libra in love. All right, the challenge Libra is the Four of Swords. So I do see a situation here where you and this person are not talking. There's a lot of stress. Um, conflict. There's some kind of conflict around you and this person. Um, maybe there's conflict or beef, an argument or something you may have had with this person. I feel like someone has been avoiding the other person. It looks like someone hasn't been talking or reaching out. Um, there could be a time of deep thought. Let me think about this. Let me figure it out. That's the challenge, right? To overcome some kind of conflict, but also find peace of mind, right? Four Swords could be resting, recovering, restoration, right? Replenishing your energy. It can be, um, again, that divine guidance energy, trying to find guidance on how to resolve an issue. So I feel like there is a break here. Definitely some kind of separation, but I almost feel like it's temporary because you can come out of that Four of Swords energy. Now, in the past, we have the Ace of Cups in a verse, the Three of Swords, ooh, and the Page of Pentacles. In the past, it definitely was a missed opportunity. Someone here definitely loved you, but I feel like there was an ending or a breakup. For some of you, it's because of uh, this Three of Swords. Someone here may have broke your heart. There could have been a betrayal, okay? Three of Swords is really difficult to go through. I feel like there was a cutting of ties. Um, this could be a breakup because of a third party. This is some kind of separation. So it does feel like whoever this person was, you did care for them and love them, but maybe someone was not offering their full cup. And I'm saying that because we have the Page of Pentacles. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone was only here to invest bare minimum, okay? I feel like there's an the energy of someone holding back and not giving everything. Page of Pentacles, it's a small offer, okay? It's kind of just... um. 
I don't know any way to say it other than bare minimum. You know, I feel like when it came time to really invest, this person didn't show up as much as you needed them to show up. Um, something here may have not taken off because someone was unwilling to put their all into it. But I do see there was some kind of investment, but it was also a falling out. I feel like the Three of Swords is responsible for it, okay? Betrayal, cheating, lying, cutting away. All right, let's see what the current energy is. The current energy, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, a Sag, and Aries. Obviously, there was an ending, but it does look like this ending is something that you and this person are very much thinking about. It's in both of your energies. This could be the mutual energy. And it looks like there's some kind of idea. Well, how can we move past this ending? Right? It's left us both quite devastated. We both don't know what to do about it. But how do we move past it? How do we overcome this really difficult place and get out of the cold with each other? So someone here definitely misses your presence. They miss your touch. They want to figure out what's next for this connection. And I do see the energy of desire passion drive action someone still wants to take action on in this connection someone is still interested in motivated determined for some kind of change so i do see the five of pentacles being that whoever this person is that you are not talking to or not dealing with right now there is the element of what are we going to do next are we going to get back together right five of pentacles in verse are we going to get out of the cold with each other are we going to finally have this discussion are we going to take action on this on your mind, Libra, we have the Tower and the Fool. There is something you're avoiding here, okay? The Tower could be a lot of drama. Some of you guys are avoiding this person because they just bring unnecessary drama to your life. The Tower is just like unexpected uh, events, chaos, misery. Um, some of you guys, you've already gone through this Tower moment with this person and it's made you pull away. It's made you take a step back because that's not something you want to deal, deal with right now. And I feel like the problem is that this hasn't been fully addressed. There's almost like an avoidance of a situation right now. Now, I think Libra, some of you guys, you're on to a new beginning. This could be a new beginning with someone else. This could be looking at other opportunities in love. Some of you guys are waiting for a new opportunity to start back up with this person. But I feel like there's something here that has to be taken care of. You and this person have not been fully addressing and it's standing right there. It's like literally right there in the energy. So if you want this new beginning with this person, Libra, there's something that you and this person will have to really deal with head to head. So this could be a Scorpio or an Aries. In the foundation, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse. We have the Sun, Leo energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. It looks to me like Libra, this person is looking for a breakthrough. They're looking for clarity, truth. They're looking for a way on how to move forward. I don't think, think this person is really ready to take action just yet. The Knight of Pentacles and the Hermit. I think this person is really trying to figure out what's next. How can we have stability here? If that's even possible. This person may be looking for spiritual answers and getting some guidance on how they can move forward with you. I don't think this person has figured it out yet. I think that's why they're not taking action just yet. There is a lot of anxiety too. The Nine of Swords speaks about overthinking, overanalyzing in their head, conflict, frustration, stress. But I think that the sun is here to bring healing, clarity, truth. Something here could be illuminated with the sun. It could also pave way for a way how to move forward, right? So this could be a Leo. In terms of the outcome, we have the Six of Wands in reverse. We have the Ten of Cups. And the Queen of Swords. So, you know, it does look like, Libra, you're going to be speaking some truth. There's something you have to say. And I feel like it's like this has been something you've been wanting to say for some time. Now, I also think that this Queen of Swords could be something that's cutting out. Uh, cutting out something from your life. Cutting out a situation. Getting to the bottom of a situation. Finally, cutting out things that just don't serve you. Now, the good thing is that I see the Ten of Cups. There's something here that really is going to make you happy. But for some of you guys, it's almost like this isn't what you really may have wanted initially, but it's going to make you happy anyway. The Six of Wands in verse is something that you may have wanted to achieve, and you may not feel like that's what you really signed up for. That's what you wanted. Six of Wands in verse is typically some kind of failure, lack of achievement, lack of success. But I almost feel like something is turning around for the good. It's like for the greater good, right? Because the Ten of Cups, you will get your fulfillment, you will get your happiness, okay? So um, this could also be a situation here where 
your person doesn't know how to come in and, and necessarily take over the situation. You may be questioning your person. It could be some kind of important communication when you're gathering information and this person may have felt like they failed you. And that could be something you're discussing with this person. So we're going to clarify, okay? All right, so Libra, what's going on with my Libras in love? Clear, concise, accurate messages. All right, we have the Four of Swords. This is resting, regrouping, recuperating. You and this person may not be talking, the world and birds, but it's almost like this isn't done. So even though you guys aren't really communicating at this time, there's an understanding that, oh yeah, we're going to revisit this. This is not over. This is unfinished business. So in a recent past, what happened? Ace of Cups, there was a falling out through your swords, could have been a betrayal. The judgment of verse in the Seven of Wands. I feel like someone avoided making a decision. Some of you guys, you held off making a, a big decision and letting go of this connection. It's like you wanted to hold on to it. The Seven of Wands, you wanted to protect it. You wanted to fight for it. But I think it got to a point where I realized, you, you realized, Libra, that this person wasn't willing to invest as much as you were. So yeah, you could put off making a decision and keep you know fighting for something. But if this person isn't fighting for it as well, what are you left to do? So, yeah, I do think the judgment came down to you making a final decision. I think at the end, you may have had to do what you felt was right, what you needed to do. The seven of wands can also be about putting yourself first, not allowing someone to take advantage of you. But I definitely feel like there was a falling out of a love relationship. We also have the ten of cups in the verse and the emperor. So Libra, you could have been dealing with an emperor-like energy, someone here that you relied heavily on to do the right thing, to make the right decisions. And I feel like they, they, they really disappointed you, right? The Ten of Cups, this could be someone that you live with, someone you have children with, a family home with. And it looks like there's something regarding the home that you were not happy about. Maybe this person was always out of the home. They weren't um, always there for you. Something you, you had to be in this emperor energy and make good decisions for yourself. And it may have required... Um, moving away from this person. Some of you guys, we have the full card. You may have decided to move away and go on a different journey because there's something in the home life that was not uh, what you wanted. It was not making you happy, okay? So let's see what the full card and the tower is all about. Give me messages for Libra. King of Pentacles in the verse, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. So there definitely is a situation here where Libra, someone was very non-committal. I feel like someone was unwilling to invest their fair share, um, all of them. This is someone that may have had other responsibilities. They could have been giving to other people, other situations, other connections. They also could have just been too busy, like, you know, spending a lot of time, energy at work. And I feel like you felt abandoned. You, you know, some of you guys, you found out something with the tower and you felt alone. You felt miserable. You felt neglected. I feel a lot of you guys, um, there is an opportunity that you want with this person, but it's almost like you only would be willing to see that opportunity manifest itself if this person is willing to give their fair share, reciprocate, right? If they're willing to practice equality, um, justice, right? You know, the Six of Pentacles could be like, you know, I want all of you. So you may want something to be, you know, fair, balanced, reciprocated. But I think that the tower has to deal with something that you may have not known about, which could explain why this person was not committed, why they were not all in. So let me see what the Ten of Swords and the verse about in the current energy, the Five of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, or some of you guys, there was a Queen of Wands that may have caused this ending, may have caused this person to sabotage what they had with you. Um, I'm seeing an ending, the Ten of Swords being... Something that um, either stabbed you in the back, there was a betrayal. And I think it's because the Queen of Wands was involved in some way. This could be literally the third party. Um, typically, if I'm not doing a fire sign reading and this Queen of Wands appears, it is the third party. It could also be a co-worker, a mother figure, a cousin, an aunt. You know, it could be anybody. But I see the Nine of Swords. So I think, Libra, this really brought a lot of stress and a conflict to you, to your life. This this made you um, rethink things, right? You were always in your head thinking the worst, the absolute worst. This could be a King of Wands energy. We have a uh, Leo Sag Aries. Yeah, it looks like the current energy is that someone here is very much holding back. Some of you guys, you've been going through this... Um, 
relationship or downfall of relationship this could be like a marriage here that uh maybe you guys are separated from each other with the ten of pentacles in verse there's something here where your person's holding back someone is extremely guarded closed off we have the four pentacles being like me 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 my my mind not willing to open up not willing to give their fair share not willing to uh express their feelings or even talk about the situation someone is extremely closed off but what's going on behind the scenes this person's also very anxious and worried yeah, because they're trying to figure out what to do. The hangman is here. So I feel like Libra, this person doesn't have the answers. They're just as stressed as you, especially right now, because they're trying to figure things out. They're trying to make sense of what may have happened. I feel like they're also maybe looking to find a way out to take action on the situation, but they may not know what to do. However, the sun is here. So there could be some clarity, some truth, something here illuminated. The Four of Cups and the Strength in the Verse, Leo Energy. This is someone here that is realizing that they missed out on a really beautiful opportunity with you. This is someone who feels quite powerless. They feel weak. They feel um, as if, you know, they, they, they've been kind of pulling away because they don't feel like they can accomplish something or they don't feel like they have the ability to do something or, you know, push it forward. This is someone who feels physically weak, right? Or emotionally weak, mentally weak. But it's because of a missed opportunity that I don't think this person really wanted, it, but they realize that they something here has gotten away and it's perhaps you. Now, the only thing I'm seeing that could explain why nothing has happened is the hermit. This person's been hermiting, doing a lot of deep thinking, page of pentacles and the empress. They're doing a lot of thinking about how they can give to the situation, how they can show up. What they can do to show you that they care, to nurture the connection, to love you better. The Empress is here, so obviously they do care. They are still very much um, desire you and care for you, but they haven't always shown it. So I do think this person may be trying to change up how they show up. Page of Pentacles, something tangible, how they physically show up, how they treat you, nurture you. Okay, um, that is something they're trying to figure out what to do. Okay, how to do it. The Hermit answers. In terms of the outcome, we have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords. There's something here you could be finding out that can make you happy. Yeah, there's something here that has been very um, confusing, very unclear to you, right? The Ace of Swords in verse has been miscommunication, no communication for a period of time. Now you're finding out something. And I feel like with the Seven of Cups, it is something here that, you know, maybe you didn't think, maybe you thought it was something else. This is uh, Seven of Cups, so there could have been illusions. There could have been a lot of misunderstandings. But I think what's going to make you happy is that you're finally getting to the truth of a situation regarding this person. Um, it could explain why, what, um, you know, exactly what may have happened. And I almost feel like there's something that may have not manifested because there could have been something that you thought Oh, that's the reason but it actually turned out to not to be because the queen of swords you're getting to the bottom of something and you may be addressing whatever this this confusion was give me the six of wands in verse i feel like it's not what you thought it was yeah king of wands and the six of swords in verse there's something here from the past some kind of past conflict and i think it, it's regarding this person and it could be explaining why they weren't able to be there for you why they didn't show up but it's almost like you may have removed yourself from this person because you thought that oh you know they didn't want they don't want to be with you anymore six of wands is like they didn't want to give you that attention or they gave attention to other people there's something here that it, it was very confusing you never got clarity on and i feel like you're finally addressing it with this person six of sword there's something you're finally going to square out you're gonna you're gonna have a communication with this person become crystal clear on what happened because it's almost like you guys never really truly address this the six of swords in verse you never truly address what this issue was or what really happened and so i do see an opportunity for that again unfinished business right the world in verse so my libra that's what i have for you guys like share comment and subscribe and i'll check you guys out soon all right take care